Okay, I'll let you carry out the rest, but this is sort of where this is where it comes from. You can rewrite it like this. Okay, great. But what does this mean? Well, here's where I'm going to just choose y appropriately. Let's just let y, if you don't mind, be a comma b over b comma b. You can't stop me from making that choice. So if I make that choice and do that right here, what do I get? Well, I get basically something that's equivalent to a comma a minus, now when you put all this stuff in, you'll see lots of things just uh, combine, okay? So here we have a b over b b, and there's a b, so there's an a, a b squared over b b squared, and there's a b b here, right? Some cancellation. Here you have a b on top and b b on bottom, and there's a b a on top, and these things when you flip is just a conjugate. Uh, same thing here. And basically what happens at the end is you get the length of AB over BB. Now this creature is bigger than zero. But that's just the same as saying that if I multiply this whole thing by BB, I get AA times BB uh, minus this thing uh, I think there's. I think I've lost a square here. This thing should be a school. Um, a A B B. Um, I think I've lost a square here. Uh, when you multiply through by B B A A, you get exactly what you what you uh, want. Yields desired inequality after multiplying by bb. Now, I've just said this in, in a way that's equivalent to what's in the book, although the book doesn't use this language, but perhaps it's easier to see the, the, uh, the structure of the argument um, uh, in this way. The book, uh, if, if you want, the book actually writes this creature as big C and this creature as uh, big B. So. You want to see how the book does it. Let's let y be um, big C over big B. That makes this proof equivalent to that in the book. Okay. Okay, Cauchy Schwartz. We're going to. It's going to come up uh, a few times in this course, but it's good to know. Okay. One of your homeworks asked you um, uh, to. Uh, to think a little bit about the Cauchy-Schwartz inequality. How many people here are actually taking, or physis, physicists are taking physics, quantum mechanics? Quantum mechanics, okay. You probably learned about bras and kets. Are you going to learn about bras and kets? Okay. Well, bras and kets are, uh, the, the reason they're named such is because this is a, uh, a bra ket, right? It's a bracket, okay? and. Um, so you, you deal with a lot of the linearity properties of the bracket um, in physics. Okay, great. Um, good. Any questions about uh, complex numbers or um, anything we've done so far? Good. Um, that is probably that is probably a good place to stop because I, I did want to start talking about induction, but that's a whole nother subject, and it it's something uh, I, that would be better to wait till next time. So um, we we will see you next time, and um, I, I'm not sure, Ryan, if, if there's so we'll end uh, we'll end the the video part of this lecture now, uh, and Ryan, I.